Hello everybody, I am Bones. Uh, we're doing Shadowrun Returns. I have to thank a Steam user by the name of Sardus who uh, gifted me this. I don't know if you want it on the Salian or not. This is a game that I have grown up playing the pen and paper Shadowrun. So, this has been on my wish list for years. Um, we can find more stories. We can do the launch campaign. This one is installed. The Dead Man Switch. The Urban Sprawl Seattle Metropolis. Metro Metroplex. Yeah. Search for a mysterious killer. Sets you on a trail that leads you from the darkest slums. Ooh. To the city's most powerful megacorps. You will need to tread carefully. Must the aid of other runners and master powerful forces of technology and magic <gasps> in order to emerge from the shadows of Seattle and Skaved. So, we're going to start with this one. Um, Alright, what is the difference between easy and normal? They don't tell me the difference, but we're just going to start with normal. I start most games in normal, to be honest. Um, In the world of Shadowrun, there are no statistical differences between male and female. We are, however, going to pick male because uh, I am. Humans were the only race until the Awakening in 2012. <laughs> that kind of dates the, the role-playing game, doesn't it, guys? Now they find themselves the definition of average or even normal. They're still the most populous, populous race in the world. That should probably be popular and thus control many of the most powerful, moneyed, and important positions in society. All humans have plus three to karma to start the game. Maximum stats. Now that's one thing that was interesting about this game, um, is that the maximum stats are different for each of these, and depending on what you be, what you be, depending on what you be, you have to really decide what you want to do. Um, uh, dwarves have a plus one of willpower. I used to play a dwarf in, in Shadowrun. Orcs. Orcs are beasts when it comes to strength. And the trolls are big ass guys. Heavy prejudice against them has led to people to assume that trolls have lower intelligence, but in reality, there's no proof to this. Those have pointed ears, intimidating teeth, or tusks, and have horn-like growths that other metahumans do not manifest. Uh, well, they do have some good stats here, and the body is massive. I want somebody maybe that's a, closer to a jack of all trades, or somebody... Humans are the jack of all trades in this game, but I feel like I want to be either a samurai or a runner. Elves make pretty good runners, or shamans. If you all don't know what the hell that means, it just means they can control the matrix. Uh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, guys. A plus one to willpower might be good, too. The one thing I know for sure is we're not doing human. Elf, dwarf, elf, dwarf, elf, dwarf, elf, dwarf. We're gonna do dwarf. Now the archetype, the street samurai, is a freelance operative who fell as a code of street honor. So their skills for profit, body strength or quickness, close range combat, throwing weapons, the mage, the decker is what I used to be. So intelligence is a skill for that. Charisma, so that would be the elf. Intelligence, that may also be the elf. Uh, physical adept. So let's take a look at the races again for a minute here. The Decker is Intelligence. Intelligence is 9, Intelligence is 9, Intelligence is 8, Intelligence is 6, Intelligence is 9. So realistically, for a dwarf, I could be a pretty decent Decker. Let's 
Street Samurai is another one that I used to do quite a bit. Um, because they are sort of like a and I'll be a mercenary. Um, we're gonna try a decker. Oh, we can customize our runner here. Alright. I feel like I've already spent way too much time on this shit right now, I'll be honest. So I apologize, everybody. We, we've been playing around with this stuff. Uh, auto custom. Okay, so I can make him a paler dwarf. I feel like the dwarf should be a, a little tan. We're gonna go with dwarves of the, the old fictition, and dwarves used to be a ruddier, a uh, much ruddier style. I feel like the. Maybe a little Lemmy, Motorheadish. Keep him there. Have a tribute to the Lemmy. I like that one. No horns for Dwarf. Continue to stats. Oh, okay, and I can pick his picture as well here, which is pretty cool. Um, I feel like this guy here is like, he's the GQ Dwarf. He's trying to look handsome. I feel like that one there is the guy who meditates a lot, he, he tells you that things are better at Whole Foods, that's that dwarf. That's a dwarf who's like, join my cult! Uh, that dwarf would probably be closer to a decker. This is probably like my dwarf, I feel like he's like a biker. Matter of fact, we're gonna go bigger on that beard. Why not? Let's go, let's go crazy on the beard here. That's that's a beard worth a gore. So yeah, I feel like that's that one's gonna be more like mine. Like he looks like he's skeptical. This is the dwarf that he doesn't he's not happy. He's like, eh, I don't know. But I like him. This guy looks like he knows what he's doing, he's got goggles, he's happy. Continue to stats, spend your karma. The karma is if I remember right, your X XP body determines uh, physical damage, quickness, range combat, pistol, rifle, dodge, strength, close combat, melee weapons, unarmed intelligence. He needs better intelligence. Biotech. Decking. Decking is important. Um, ESP control. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. You can do other things like that. Shit. There's so much you can do in this. Um, and people wonder why I used to really like this one. This one, uh, not, don't get me wrong. I mean, I grew up with Dungeons and Dragons, let's be honest. But if I really gotta, if I gotta just say it outright here, uh, I don't ever think this game got its fair deal, and that's the truth. I think this game was one that was amazing that did not get. And I hate to do all the others, maybe I'm going wrong here, but intelligence for a decker is needed. Choose an etiquette. Etiquette does not, uh, corporate. Will behave in certain situations, gang, social life, shadow runner, street academic. My guy's all street, baby. He's from the hood. He's a street name. He's like Half Jack, Lazy O. Please choose a name for your character. How about... Uh... Overkill in honor of Lemmy for Motorhead. One of my favorite Motorhead songs, actually, so we'll pick that one, Down and Out. Now this is done in the style of the Bird's Eye View of Fallout 1 and 2. Again, thank you to Sardis, who, uh gifted me this game, so this is for you, this Let's Play Sardis. He's gonna be like, what in the heck? Now I can hear my cat being mischievous back there. Um, he's always mischievous, guys. Your apartment, 2054. It's 3 a.m. and you got nowhere to go but down. I don't know if that's a metaphor for me being broke or... Slip a paper with your bank balance, enough to cover you to the end of the week. So, mouse to move, 
Nice and easy, I like that. Oh, there we go. A notebook, calendar, that kind of thing. Your list of contacts. Carter Detroit, Fixer, no response of messages. Dowd, Runner, dead. Felton Nash, Fixer, missing. New Larry, Runner, dead. Sam Watts, Runner, question mark, probably in a gutter somewhere. Sagoma, Runner, dead. Half Jack, dealer, retired or dead. So in other words, uh, I need new runners. Let's put down my notebook. I wish I could carry that shit with me. Answer my vid phone. Where the hell is my vid phone? Show me my vid phone. What is this? What is this here? What is this? Okay, objectives. Get a job, any job. Answer my vid phone. Mission items. Mission items. That's me. That's me there. Um, I have a gun equipped. There's my little dude. Cyberware. I have a data jack. So they start me off with at least something. We are going to save the game right off the bat, so that way I don't need... Create new save. Create it. Save it. Okay. So that way I don't need to start over again. Now let's answer my big phone right there. It's been a while, guys. Hey, Sam Watts. I thought he was dead. Um, where you been, Sam? Haven't heard from you in months. Uh, oh, don't bother with your side of the conversation. I'm not really here. I'm just... One reason for this vid, someone who finally geeked me, I'm dead. I probably had it coming. When you take an unsavory character like myself, you tend to associate with other unsavory characters who are often taking an unsavory business, like you, for example. Why am I dead? Who knows? Probably my fault. I wonder where you are right now. I bet you had a big payday and you're living high in the hog somewhere. Uh, if you've seen my guy's apartment, probably not. Some of us are born winners and some of us are me. Hey, you remember that? Run, Raku, run when things went to hell and we lost doubt, or that makeshift saloon on the docks afterwards. I really had your back that night, didn't I? Doubt, that's a name you haven't heard in a long time. So now we have a murder mystery. Dun dun dun! Now I like games like this that start you off light and easy and then start to pick up and go somewhere. Three years ago, okay, so we're going back in time. The night Doubt went down. So that's me, there's Sagoma, New Larry. Well, let's see new Larry, since I've never met the old Larry. Walk, walk. Oh, look at his little, he's got a little Assassin's Creed type face paint there. You've been running with new Larry for about six months. He's a combat mage with a bad tattoo and a bad attitude. He knew Dowd almost as well as you did. Uh, Dowd. Never saw anybody die like that before, idiot. I hate this friggin' city. Overkill, it's wet and the rain feels like acid and I want out of here. Uh, shut your screamer about the rain. We lost a man tonight. So, Ka, sorry. I'm just real ready to go home. Portland's way more my speed. Sam Watts, uh, I don't know Overkill. Sam is a good guy and can hold his own in a fight, but he's been hitting the battle pretty good lately. Never on a run so far, but he needs watching. That run went side sideways nine ways to Sunday. I feel like they ran that on. They could have just said it went sideways and been fine. Now the fixer is late. Uh, smell funny to you. Oh yeah, it smells funny. Look at the place he set for the meeting. This was supposed to be a public place. Cut the drug, Sam. We both know why Dowd went down, and it wasn't the fixer of some paranoid chip dream of yours. I've been waiting for this all night. You Larry has something he wants to say, don't you, Larry? Go ahead, spell it. You were sloppy. He laughed. Sloppy? You'd think I was sloppy? You've been twitchy all day, son. Look at your hands are shaking. Uh, you've been drinking, Sam. On a run, not a drop, not today, ever. Something dawns on him. He leans into New Larry, amused and dangerous. We were set up, and he knows it, don't you, Larry? What was that call you made before we hit Renaku? A call you couldn't download, couldn't geek that guy. I think geeking, by the way, is... Uh, before he unloaded on Dowd. I've seen you fling a lightning bolt, son. He should have been burnt toast before his gun through the holster. New Larry checks his watch, flicks his lips, looks over your shoulder at the darkness. He's looking for someone, and it's not the fixer. Uh, alright, alright. Obviously, Larry sold us out, so I'm gonna say, hands where I can see them, asshole. He stops, and a smile slowly appears on his face. What, you gonna take my gun away, Overkill? You know I don't need one. Oh, Sagoma is an orc lady. 
you've got incoming. Larry relaxes and throws you a direct eating grin. Looks like my new Renaku friends are finally here. And you take that hard drive off your corpse, buddy. We should choose our friends more carefully, Overkill. Uh, let's say, buy you a drink after this. You'll owe me several. Well, combat tutorial. Incoming. Leave the mage, kill the others. So the mage set us up. Which is bullshit! So I am the little short son of a bitch right here, clearly. Turn-based combat. You are now in turn-based combat mode. Each character on your team has an action pool. Spend these actions on movement, attacks, using spells and items. Once your team's turn is complete, the enemy team will move and attack. Additional blah 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 blah. First things first. Same as wounded. I am wounded. That's new Larry, who is a complete and utter asshole and in my way. Um, I feel like new Larry needs to die because he is right there. But can I get to new Larry? Well, we did. I'm going to have Sam plug new Larry as well. So Goma, we're going to have take out one of them. And then also plug new Larry. Because without new Larry, uh, I need to get to cover. I can get to cover. I can get to cover. Can Sam get to cover? Sam needs to get to cover. Shit. Alright. Thing one in turn-based games, guys. Get your ass to cover immediately. If possible. Because you don't want to... Shit, I missed that one. You don't want to be the guy just standing there. Grabbing his ass in the middle of a fight. And if you want to grab your ass on your own time, that's up to you. But I don't judge. I'm just saying. Don't be doing that in the middle of a fight. That orc lady is a bad... She's a badass. Her, uh, her pistol does 10. Ooh! And we got it. Oh, what the hell is this? Guys from behind us now. Oh, shit. Round the other way. Sigoma, join us over here, please. And I think Sigoma can actually try and shoot one of them, so... Damn! You don't play around, man. So basically, this was a setup on both sides of us. Oh, he missed me. Shit, we got more there. Now, we have a problem. And the problem is that we're... Ooh, that's gonna hurt. We're gonna have to split up our resources. They said this is bad, they have a shaman. I don't know what that means exactly because I haven't played this game in friggin' years, but Sam is not doing well. So I am going to officially... Shit. Can I get there? I'm gonna have to start fighting these guys. Sam, on the other hand, has got to get his ass away from this. Take out one of these two. So let's get him over there. Sigoma, I'd feel better if she was over there helping me take out the shot. Sam is going to go back here and shoot him. Not enough. And get Sam with some better cover, at least. And I just got shot in the back, you son of a bitch. Ow, my ass! God, why am I so bad at shooting? My guy sucks. Shit, Sam is out of ammo. Oh god, I'm an idiot. 
Reload, yes. There we go. That's the Yoma here. Is out. I'm not very good at this, apparently. You know, is betrayal or a second brush with death in one night. Uh, you did good. You're born for this gig over kill, me not so much. I think I'm gonna hang it up, find a nice brothel somewhere, and stay drunk until I croak. What about you? I find a safe house out of town, lay low. Renaku has a long memory. I do too, I don't forget my friends. So this must be the backstory, guys, so there we go. I, you know, I gotta say, it's a nice little introduction into combat. That was fast, that was nice. Oh shit, my name is at the top of the list. Contact my law firm, Rogers, Mert, and Dutton. I know what to do. Turn to his left. Shut. Oldest man sitting. Persuade to Mr. Watts' wishes. Rogers and Mert and McCain has installed a security dedicated phone. You may contact us directly when the task is complete. We will then begin a verification process. That's it. You must also be on a secure line. Line line to access this number. Do not accept transmissions from comlinks and other devices. Uh, da -da -da, da -da -da. I'll get to the bottom of this. Someone will pay. Hope you just said yes. Got a locator chip slotted in my head these days. If one my heart stops, it'll activate. That's how you find me. Guess I'm heading back to Seattle. So, you start off with the murder mystery. And there are other shadow runs too, by the way, I should uh, note. And I believe... I think this one has workshop support or something. Some extra stuff for it. I have the deluxe version of this, so I don't know what else I'm doing. That's the corner about Sam Watts. Can I actually use Watts to move too? No, I cannot. It's all mouse moving. Not that I mind mouse moving, guys. It's just, uh, I'm in the back, he says. This better not be a setup, dude. The smell of death and decomposition watch over you, only slightly masked by the minty, fresh, fake fresh of industrial grade antiseptic. Um, we had a conversation, actually, the other day, uh, well, a while ago, me and my daughter did, about hospitals, and about how neither of us like hospitals because of that smell. Does anybody else out there agree? Put it in the comments, uh, if you do not like hospitals, why? Why is it you don't like them? For us, it's that weird smell, that antiseptic smell. And he's a dwarf like me. I love my job. Uh, as you approach, he looks up with a lopsided grin. There's something kindly in his eyes, so it looks like it might be your stray reflection of a chrome and surgical tools. Uh, sorry I didn't expect any visitors at this hour, and some asshole at corporate took my receptionist. What can I do for you, sir? Are you the coroner? Uh, I'm John Dresden, the organ grinder's branch manager here, so yeah, that makes me this franchise area's coroner. And you are? Uh, Overkill, I represent... I represent, this one sounds good, I represent a man named Sam Watts and I'm here to look into his murder. He frowns. Interesting. A dead man makes for a strange client, but what makes you think he's here? Sam had a located chip, had it in his skull, I followed it here. I see, well you're right, he's here. Not too many people know about the murder yet though, and the press haven't caught wind of it. And, went, and ah, what with it being all the way out here in the Barrens? Who told you he was dead? Sam's digital ghost. When his heart stopped, I got sent a recorded message asking me to bring his killer to justice. Guess he had a hunch. The dead man switch, eh? Fascinating. I was working on him earlier. He's over here. So, basically, he was testing me. So how do I know I can trust this little shit? Because he was like, oh, well, I don't know. He's my second Emerald City Ripper victim. The third one was downtown. A ripper? What the fuck? 
Emerald City Ripper? Besides, not my title. That's what the Seattle Press insists on calling the killer. All I know is that, like the original Jack the Ripper, our Ripper knows how to handle a scalpel, but this one's even more twisted. He or she always removes an internal organ from the victim. Um, what prize did the Ripper take from Sam? Watt's liver was cleanly cut out. How about the other lucky contestants? The first victim's heart was missing, the third had a spleen removed. Oh, and that's a big ass troll. Preston, get out here. That looks like a cop. So we're checking his body right now. Since bodies have come out, da da da. Handwritten note. Sam, I feel terrible that we are. See you, Ben. Sam, sorry to see you there, love, Jessica. The seamstress union. Cred stick. Take the cred stick. Get the purple shirt. Several of the buttons are missing, and blood is thoroughly soaked. Down the evidence bag. Let's get our ass over here to see if I can rip anything else. So now we have the name Jessica to go by. Can we scan this room for anything else while this guy's out of it? I think that's about all we can do. So let's go out there and see who this towering ass beast is. I think he's probably a cop from the name McCluxky. Homicide detective. If you ignore the tusks, pointed ears, and Neanderthal brow, you can smell his cheap aftershave from away. <laughs> so this new Ripper Vic Watts, name's familiar, didn't his mother kill herself a while back? So you insisted at the time. Come on, she offered herself a headed on very good authority. Now let's go, Dressing. Give me something to work with here. Already posted everything I know. The killer stuns a target with a combination of drugs and magic, then raises a single internal organ while they're alive. Jesus. The perpetrator is most likely right-handed with a slim hand that knows its way around the scalpel. Has a decent understanding of human and metahuman analogy table. So I'm looking for a whacked out surgeon. Not necessarily. I don't know any surgeons who study scalpels anymore. Understandable. We know damn help dwarf. Who the hell are you? Oh, my strength isn't high enough or I could bully him. I'm new in town. You're the welcoming committee? If you're new in town, then let me be the first to tell you that I'm on the show. If you get my way, you'll end up back here on a slab. He looks back at the dwarf. Tries to get me more. I'm putting someone in a cell or a box this week, claiming my promotion. So, he's an asshole. Also, I need to get my strength up. Do you always make friends that easy? You're great at dinner parties, too. Caxus said to one side, be straight with me. You really gonna work for a dead man? Uh, I'm gonna bring his killer to justice, at least street justice. Best knitting again. Uh, you, you have honor after a fashion. I try to honor the dead in my work suite of that and come. What can I do to help you? Have you heard of the Seam Sisters Union? It's a club near the Barrens that attracts slow life. You probably like it. Me, I'm not really the going out type. Plus, there's always too much to be done around here. Plus, the dead are easier to get along with. Uh, who still uses scalpels? Doctors, da da da, coroners, but neither professions. It's possible some of the slinier chop chops. I wouldn't know where to look. Uh, what was that thing about his mother? Uh, so to drop it, so I dropped. On the take, he's paying to hold his leash. I don't know, but somebody with some major pro has been looking out for McCluskey's career and wallet. But our organs work these days. Organ grinder is only down recently deceased. Or was Sam killed? Oh, alright. Um. Why don't you poke around in the body lockers in the back and see if you find anything useful? I'll go do that. 
So let's poke in the body lockers in the back and see if we find anything useful. Basic med kit. Oh, these are the body lockers apparently. The other thing I was just probably stealing. Open the drawer. Okay, so this guy here is a friend of Sam's. I do like the music in this actually. It's got a little it's like a mix of like old detective movies and just a little bit of Little hint of something technically in it. Looks like you can enter yourself in a fight. I could do some backup to sort of score those Halloweeners out there. Though we just got the whole gang searching the area for me. I need to get rid of that asshole and return our ticket to the place someone's murdered. It's not safe to hit the streets alone at night. Trust me. And maybe I'll throw in some decent supplies while we're at it. What do you say? I do like a bit of street justice every now and then. All right, Jake, count me in. Great. You need a weapon. Um, apparently pistol's what I'm good at. My weapon of choice as well. Take this well. I'm ready. Alright all, so this is where I'm going to end this Let's Play. We got an introduction, a little taste of this game. If you guys like more, let me know and maybe I'll do a follow-up to this one. This is Shadowrun. Returns. Uh, it is certainly returned, and I gotta say, I'm I'm liking it. It's uh, easy to control. It feels like Shadowrun, um, more so even the RPG than the old Sega Genesis and NES versions did, if you remember that. Um, and with that said, we've had a decent let's play with this today. A little shorter than some of mine, a little longer than others, but. Let me know if you guys would like to see more of this one, and maybe we'll do some more. We got a few other ones coming up. Um, but yes, again, shout out to Sardis. Thank you, my friend. This was one of my favorite RPG systems growing up. This is pure nostalgia for me and Joy, and this game does not disappoint at all. I'm, I'm liking it. So, uh, for all of you, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Pick one of our Good God, 60-something Let's Plays, reviews, all sorts of things. Post it on your Facebook. Get the word out. The more of our uh, people we have out there and our, the Bones Army, uh, what do, I don't even know. Put in your comments what you think we should call our little gang, our little group. Not a gang, not a gang. Our group of YouTubers. Somebody suggested the boners, but I think parents probably wouldn't know. <laughs> they wouldn't love that joke too much. So maybe the skeleton army? I don't know. Tell me what you think. The puppet army? I know Gary hasn't been around for a while. He's busy doing a few other things, but he'll be back soon. Um, so let me know. Anyways, thank you guys. You guys have a great day. Subscribe, send a like, and comment.